Hey guys, what's up? This is Christopher Christopher and today we're gonna fix the Fiat 500's uh, header right here. You know it has a paint peeling. I uploaded a first video on it and uh, it's gotten so messed up that I wasn't able to find a way to take this off. It's an aluminum piece like I had said and this is what happened to it. Uh, I had tried uh, painting it but I did it with some cheap paint that 98 cent one from Walmart or 74 cent I don't remember now I got some good one so first what I did was obviously cover up the car protect the paint you know other pieces as much as uh, possible this is a three-piece uh, roll you get it at Walmart as well it comes like this for two dollars and something cents find it in the paint section and it's a three mil three pack plastic drop cloth uh, this is the it's a nine foot by 12, which is okay for the Fiat. So I went down to AutoZone and I picked this paint up. This is a black glossy, and this is actually for engine, you know? And the reason I went with it was because um, I had already used this paint on the actual piece of uh, part in the engine compartment and it has not failed. It has not cracked or anything like that. So if this, this, is, a, if this is a piece of aluminum, this is good for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, sand that off. And uh, I got a primer that's around there, but you can use a, oh, you, you have to use an, a metal bonding primer. You can find that at uh, AutoZone as well. I used AutoZone, I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting paid by them, but you know, that's where you can find all this stuff. This one too, this is a clear coat, it's gloss. Same thing, I bought it, you know, heat resisting as well. So uh, after, uh, once I do this, hopefully it looks good. All right, as well, uh, I'm here waiting for the final coat to dry. Um, <laughs> if you can hear the background, that's a rooster. <laughs> um, I'm currently here in, uh, down in Tijuana. This is the only spot I have where I can do this type of work to the car without getting uh management talk shit over in uh san diego <laughs> so um so yeah i'm just here waiting for the paint to dry and uh gonna give it its uh, clear coat i'm gonna do four clear uh four uh, coats of clear and in between i'm just gonna keep on doing the same as the the paint i did four four coats of uh, black paint uh 10 minutes in between 10 to 12 minutes in between uh, coats and uh, right now I'm just waiting 30 minutes so it could kind of really uh, dry up and then uh, I'll be doing the starting on the clear coat <laughs> and I'm just chilling right here because I'm tired <laughs> uh, but yeah guys um, I went over to the Fiat dealership I tried to see if they could sell me that piece um, unfortunately the guy there that I was talking to was not able to uh, get me the part or they didn't even know if they could even sell me that part without uh, selling me the whole roof <laughs> that's one component I mean this whole sunroof that's what I'm talking about um, so uh, I just went ahead and it was either gonna be wrapping it but I don't know I wanted to go ahead and uh, do it correctly this time with good paint and see uh, how it turns out so uh, give me a few more minutes so the video is gonna be chopped up and put together <laughs> uh, you know so you're gonna see how everything how it turns out at the end so, oh here comes Lobo my, my dog <laughs> he just wants to play I haven't uh, played with him in, the, in a while so he just wants me to pay attention to him so all right guys so i got about 15 16 minutes yet more to go and then uh, i'll start clearing it and then i'll show you what's up so for you guys i'll be super quick <laughs> all right guys so i got the products that uh, i used and sorry earlier in the video i said it was a three mil it's a seven mil three pack <laughs> um so here's a primer that i bought this is the one that i found at uh, my local uh, paint uh, place automotive place where they make actual mixed paints for cars you know 
Uh, this cost me there $18. Um, if you could find it at AutoZone, uh, I'm sure it'll be cheaper and it'll be a smaller can. This one's about 15 ounces. You don't need that much. Well, this is a big piece, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so this is the one I got. It's a primer and right here in the back. And it's a, also a fast dry, so it does dry pretty quick. It's a primer designed for use over bare metal. So you see, aluminum, core body filler, bare core. So, so yeah, this one's good. I didn't use a primer last time, so because I don't know, I wasn't prepared. I just thought I could do it. I had some black paint here at the at the, at the <coughs> warehouse, and uh, I figured it would work, but obviously it didn't. And here's the black paint again. Uh, so yeah, this is for engine like it says there. It's so if you paint a block an engine block You know it, this is good for it. Oh, it'll, it'll it's resistant to the heat. Oh man, whatever so um, So yeah, try to find It doesn't have to be this brand as long as it's for as long as it's a high temperature engine uh, paint uh, Make sure it's kind of like a glossy one So it looks nice and shiny and then the clear it's also the same brand um, it's also heat resistant, uh, high temperature, you know. So uh, make sure it's a glossy clear or a gloss clear. It says on. Uh, pay attention because some of them um, just says clear and it ends up being like a matte type of clear. It's not shiny. So uh, make sure you pay attention because if not, you're gonna end up having to sand it and uh, what's gonna take more time. But. Let's uh, see how it turns up. <laughs> yeah, so I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting, guys. That would sh share with you again the products to correct that. <laughs> um, I also got this uh, Suburban here. This is a project that kind of, oh man, I have no time right now. Uh, it is an 80. Uh, it is an 83 Scottsdale. It's a diesel. Uh, the body is an 86 body on top. Um, it got replaced. So, uh, but it runs. Um, I just uh, parked it because there's a hole on the top that I'm working on, welding it, uh, patching it up. But uh, I already have the inside gutted out. <laughs> Because I want to do, it's weird, I'm going to start with the inside, well, well I'm going to start, yeah, with the inside after I finish patching the roof, uh, finish the inside, sand it off, I'm going to be throwing in the floor um, those uh, kind of like a rhino liner type type of thing like that. I saw one that's called Raptor, I think I'm probably going to go with that one. And then uh, working on the outside, get a good car wash, I'm actually waiting for a... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, another property that I have it's a warehouse that way I can actually put my cars inside and work in work inside of there Because here there's nowhere there's I mean there's a lot of space here, but <clears throat> I don't have any like uh, place to put in my cars a garage or anything and Plus this is not my property. This is my parents property. So um, I don't want to go ahead and build something here that <clears throat> Well, you know, it's Oh, it's not my property <laughs> um, so yeah so hopefully uh, I'll be you guys uh, showing you guys my uh, the warehouse that's where I'm gonna be doing my car uh, fixings and stuff it's actually a pretty big warehouse so <clears throat> just waiting on uh, paper title transfer and all that stuff and it's uh, pretty big it's pretty cool I'll fix it up nice but okay so I think I got a few more minutes left I'll be back all right guys sorry for the freaking noise in the background <laughs> but all right it's already been a few minutes uh last coat already been uh sprayed and check it out that's how it looks <clears throat> you can see from right there still gonna uh, uh you can wet sand it if you want because it has a little bit of orange peel well that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wet sand it with a 2500 grit and then uh polish it out buff it out but uh 
There you go. It's already kind of dry. Yeah. Let's give it a few more minutes. Boy. Check it out. <laughs> So I think for those of you that are also having that same problem, I think the best thing to do is either wrap it <laughs> or paint it. Painting it is cheaper or uh, wrapping it. You can also do it. I think it's cheap too. You can buy the roll at AutoZone as well. I saw them there. Um, they got like a carbon fiber one. I was thinking of getting that one if this doesn't work next time. Um, but I'm thinking from how it looks right now, uh, with four uh, coats that I did, it feels pretty pretty thick and tough because it's uh, also sprayed here. I don't want to touch it there yet because it's not that super dry yet. Don't want to leave my fingerprint on there. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, I, I, I still got to buff it. Um, I don't got the polish or anything like that. I have to go uh, buy it. But uh, I'll throw another video on that to uh, see what's up, how it looks after that. But I think this is uh, out of, uh, I don't know, <laughs> out of, uh, I don't know, how many points is it, 10 stars or whatever? I think I give it like an eight. I don't think it's a 10, but for sure it's an eight. Um, if you have any questions or if you got any comments, leave them down there in the comment section and uh, we'll see what's up. But, you be the judge. <laughs>